Welcome to your Straight Razor Edge Friday Special. You can use a barber's home to refresh your straight razor. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving and welcome back. It's good to see you. My one word is heart and I put my heart into everything I do. And I believe every time you shave with straight razor, you're getting a better shave. Let's talk barber's home starting right now. Hones are one of the best ways to sharpen your dull straight razor and knowing how to use them is key. Keep in mind, it is all about the edge. Never use your hone dry. Always add water, lather, or oil. And only add oil if you're using an oil stone. This will help prevent overheating the steel and the lubrication will float the fine metal particles and keep them from clogging up your stone along with helping to keep stone as slick as possible. Before you start, wipe off your hone to make sure it's clean or you could even flatten it which will help in the honing process. I use a DMT and this is the D8C it is a coarse diamond plate. This particular one is fairly wore out. It is steel and that will keep that hone nice and flat. With water hones, use water or lather. With oil hones, use oil. This is my friend Swati Barber's Home. It says that it would like to be used with Swati oil. Now this is new old stock. This is a Franz Swati Marburg, Austria. And it is just absolutely beautiful. You've got this nice mark here with the Franz Swati Marburg, Austria, which is brilliant. And now, this came with a convex surface on both this side and this side. This side I did flatten with my DMT, the diamond plate, and got it nice and flat. Now, here's what this says. Swati hones, and this is diamond, for razors, surgical instruments, etc. This hone made of carbonium quickly gives an exceedingly fine and lasting edge. Each hone is free from cracks, veins, fissures, and has an entirely equal grain. Each hone bears a trademark and the stamp of the firm of the sole manufacturer, Fran Swati, Marburg, Austria. Each hone is warranted. Now, on the outside of this, here we go. We got a Swati Stein diamond. This is Franz Swati, Marburg, Austria. And right here is the only date on this. It says 1879. Not sure if that's when this was made, but very cool. This is new old stock, I believe, because it had never been used before I got it. This Fran Swati was quite difficult to flatten on this side. It took quite some time for it to get flat. And I don't know if you can see all those little sparkles in there. But if you can't, I will go ahead and add in here the shot from the microscope as well. So you can see those bright sparkles in that stone. Just very cool. This is one and seven eighths wide. It's gonna be five inches long. And this is a single grit barber's home. Now, if you have a barber's home that on one side is coarse and the other side is fine, you're going to want to hone on the fine side. Don't hone on the coarse side. When using a hone, 
you are going to want to touch the spine and the edge to that stone at the same time the whole time you are honing because that is how the bevel is set on these straight razors. The spine and the edge need to be touching at the same time. If the spine is off the stone and the edge is on the stone, then you're not going to get a proper bevel on this razor. You're going to have more of a blunt instrument. Now let's cover our barber's home with lather. And we're just going to go just like that. That is what we're looking for. Now, you're going to want to hold your razor by the tang. Don't necessarily hold it by the handle or the scales. You want to hold it by the tang because that is going to be the safest way to hone your straight razor. Now, we're going to put this down here on the stone. We're going to put the heel down and leave the toe off. And what this is going to be called is X strokes. So we're going to go like this and then go like that. And now what we're doing, every time we do this, okay, you're lifting that blade off, putting the edge and the spine back on the home and you see the heel is leading the toe now that is what you want to do if you're going to be doing x strokes now there is another way to do this i have two more kind of strokes that i want to show you first we're going to go ahead and lather that up again like that and the first stroke i want to show you is a half stroke so we're still holding it by the tang and now we're just going to do half strokes like this and at this point you have the whole blade on that stone which I think is a really good idea when you're honing. That way you don't get uneven wear. And this works quite nicely. This also will be the most aggressive stroke that I will show you. Now, let's go ahead and get that lathered up again. I'm going to show you one more. I'm going to do just like that. Now this is very similar, but it is different because this is just edge leading strokes. And you go like that, go like that. These are called axe strokes. Okay. And it's very important that the edge and the spine are on the stone at all times. And there you go. These are edge leading. Now, with the half strokes, it goes both directions like that. And the X strokes are actually edge leading where the half strokes go both directions those are the strokes that i use as we were honing this razor on that barber's home i did use a fair amount of pressure on that moderate to heavy and it really did try to stick to the stone quite nicely with the lather. Now we are going to check the edge just like we are checking to see if the bevel was set on a full home. So I'm going to clean this off like that. And the way we do this, 
is we get that thumbnail wet. This is weight of the blade only. We are going to drag it across and as long as all the way across it feels like it's digging in, that means you have an even bevel on that edge. This has got a nice bevel. This, by the way, is my Tierra Izar number 69. This is one of the first Tierra Izars I bought. It is a quarter hollow. That's a 6 8 blade, and it is a fine razor. Now, we're going to run three to five laps on the Barber's Home with little to no pressure, weight of the blade only. And I'm going to be using my axe strokes, just like this. And there is two, three, four, and five. Now we're doing seven to 10 laps on the smooth leather side. We'll go ahead and get that warmed up just like that. This will activate the oils in the leather. And that's 10 laps. All right, here we go. Another three to five laps on the barber's home. There's one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Now let's do 60 laps on the smooth side of the leather. We'll go ahead and get that warmed up again, just like we did last time. There we go. 60 laps. There's 60. Now let's treetop some hairs and see if this blade is shape ready. Toe is popping hairs. The middle is popping hairs. And the heel popping hairs. And we're treetopping those hairs so that is halfway up, not touching the skin. This blade is sharp and it is shave ready. We will be talking about strops in a future video and in your Sunday shave of the day, we're going to shave test this razor. The time required to hone your straight razor will depend on the condition of the edge and the hardness of the steel, whether it's carbon steel or stainless steel. I will tell you stainless steel will take longer and it will also take longer than most YouTube videos. If your straight razor is in good condition, you could probably get away with eight to 10 laps on your barber's home, but it could take more. If your edge has got a nick in it, you will have to send that razor out to be honed or you're gonna have to set the bevel and hone it yourself. If your straight razor is well cared for and stropped properly before every shave, your razor won't need honing frequently. You should be able to get 42 to 56 shaves off of one hone. Here is my Frederick Herter and Son Ace of Spades number 49. This is bone with inlay, 15 16 blade. That is a full hollow. 
and this razor has got 61 shaves on one home without any refresh. All I do to take care of my razor is I will strop it 60 times on the smooth leather side before the shave. And that's all I've done to this one. And I got 61 shaves on it. Once stropping stops working, you will need to hone your straight razor to refresh that edge. Remember, it's all about the edge. Now, we will be doing a shave test on this Thierry Czar 69 this Sunday. So stay tuned for that. Click up here to see my latest video. Click over here to see a video specially picked out for you. Click on this one to see the 2020 Shaved In Tour Series. Have a great shave and a good day and I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.